Hey everyone, Cosmos here from Dolly Games. This is going to be a very special video, it's a first look review video of a new version of Warchun called Warchun Reborn. I'm doing this video in collaboration with Proficient City, which is a branch of Game Hollywood. And this version over here, it, it has uh, it's launched uh, 20th of July, so just, just now. And uh, it has its own banner, here's one for example, and it's based on Warchun uh, version 2.46. So in fact it is taking the Warchun players um, all the way back to the beginning and that's why it's called Warchun Reborn uh, and catering to a lot of people who love the original Warchun and um, who can start playing this game and enjoying it. It's not, uh, it, it is of course going to have a lot of similarities I expect with Warchun uh, but I also expect to see differences and so we're gonna um, get into the game and see um, what it's like. Now as you see the, the logo is already the older logo and the battles and everything should all be based on, on the older version where of course the, the rules of the game and everything was different and a lot of people um, I heard um, do miss it and so that's why Warchun Reborn was uh, created. Sorry about the um, loadings, this is because I have a lot of things running on the computer as well as the recording to get this video working for you guys and also because I think it is going to be the first time the computer is going to be downloading all the cache and as you know the first time downloading all the images and everything takes a second or so. So I'm just gonna play through so this is the um, tutorial of getting into the CD if I remember correctly it is teaching you about the first skills the first uh, battles and, oh the TTE should be working here so that's gonna that should be fun let's see Okay, we, we get the uh, Reign of Fire, which is a very, very important. So I started a mage, because uh, as you know, my main character is a knight. I all, I've i played all the characters, so I figured I'll take a mage, because I might be able to show more uh, with mage than the other characters. We'll see. It's just because Reign of Fire is such a comfortable skill. Thank you, Dino. Alright, we got the talking. I, I'm not a big fan of re <laughs> reading stuff, so for those who want to read, you can start, um, you can create a character and, and read all these things. Okay, inventory unlocked, so that's good. We're gonna run through. And I already saw some, some news in the chat while I was preparing. We can have a look at that as well. There's Vixen, uh, I can see, so another player on the server. The server is brand new as I mentioned I, and um, I am logging in at a really weird hour uh, so it's night at my time because I'm working all the time <laughs> so um, we're gonna try to see the chat as well I should hopefully get into guild as well so we can see that but I need to level up yeah. and, and uh, we want to see as many different things as possible Oh, did my world message pass through? Oh, maybe I'm not allowed to talk in world yet. Level 4. So far, so good. New quest. We're gonna kill this boss. Yeah, I think you need to be, um, I forgot the level, you, you definitely need to level up up to a certain point until you're allowed to use the world chat. But we can see already here, um, first Remy reaching level 11, so that goes into a system congratulations, so um, as, as in the old times, it's uh, a big achievement. We get our first starter pack, 10 bound balance and, and the starting equipment, should be able to wear the ring. We'll do it the fast way. So you can see there are already um, a bunch of ser uh, a bunch of players on the server, even though it's brand new. 
and everybody is welcome to open an account if they wish to do so and check it out but I'm gonna try to show you guys what I can to introduce you to Words and Reborn alright this is a good time to use Rain of Fire Oh, the troops are supposed to be really effective here because of course this is the um, uh, version 2.46 so the troops should still be quite effective Sylphs do exist but I believe it's only the tier 1 that exists so um, for those people asking about Sylphs I believe it's only tier 1 or the, the first introduction of Sylphs here we are in town the good old town All right, let's get that town hall upgraded. Reclaim. The beginning is fun. You grow really fast. Recruit 200 Lancers. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I already did it. I was faster than you, dear. Oh, the gold mines! Do you miss the mines? Oh, first we need to assign the troops. Of course. I have missed the mines. Let's go check them out. For those people who have never met the mines, you can have up to two mines per day. Uh, not per day, sorry, per time. And they generate your gold every hour. And they're very very important and there there is a big competition normally on who gets the best mines and um, they're higher level higher level mines depending on how uh, deep you go in terms of uh, maps of the wilderness so over here the highest level is 10 on this newbie map roger that let's take the 10th and you see it's generating 760 gold per hour which sounds very little for those players who are playing Warchun um, normal version right now but in this version th those for serious figures <laughs> all right but of course we want to level up so that we can go to the next area and and that was one of the benefits of actually going to the next area um, it was being able to um, get better uh, higher level mines but sometimes you would go to the next area and uh, you, you, you're not able to defeat the guardians of the mine. So, yeah. Very interesting. Right, uh, for those players who are uh, wondering about other differences, I know that uh, we should expect less lag in this game because it is... Um, I don't know if they have changed anything in the programming. But just by the fact that it is the um, version 2.46, uh, there should be less flashy stuff, and, and so it should be um, it should be less lag. So I'm going quite smoothly, um, and bear in mind I have all kind of stuff switched on on the computer uh, with the recording and everything. So normally everybody should be able to enjoy pretty much lag free. Assuming your computer is cleaned up and everything. It's been ages since I've been in, in the work layer. I believe um, we fight this wolf and there's another wolf to northwest. And a boss and that's it. We're gonna take the purse. Now if you start playing this version, you have to take everything, every single piece um, piece of gold counts. And 500 doesn't sound much, but it is a lot. This, this is a kind of, well, for the one, for the players who are playing now, this is a totally different version of Warchune. So it's Warchune Reborn, going back to the beginnings, to the classic version. Pandora here is actually giving bonuses or penalties, so remember that. There were different rules for, for those uh, players who are not familiar with the um, history of Warchune. Now in this case I got a rage bonus. We're gonna see if um, what interesting things happen in the chat. So we got 
Mount Training Whip 1 in uh, Guild Blessing. We got the players chatting and enjoying the older version. We got all the rewards that I received so far. Alright, we're gonna rain of fire on this guys. This is a perfect time for rain of fire. This is why I picked mage, so that I can go faster and show you guys. Although I scored a bad rating. A. Maybe because I talk too much. <laughs> Alright, we got the quest completed. It's still guiding me, so we'll, we're gonna just follow until it, it lets me do my own stuff. So I can check things myself. Now, roses here are very, very important. For the, one, for the players playing War Chun now, they might not be familiar. Roses are extremely important to increase your friend friendship rating with, uh, with your friends. And you get very solid bonuses in, in the old version. So we're gonna upgrade the town portal while we're standing here. Uh, we also need to get the barracks up. We're gonna check in. Take 50,000 gold. Oh, max capacity! All right, we're gonna upgrade the barracks. Level two, so that was one of the quests. I need to get the cottage up to level three. Four more seconds. We can add construction um, team, and that's 395 pound balance. Don't have them on me right now. So we're gonna, and um, the buildings, in the recent version of War Chun, I think they don't have cooldown anymore, but in the old version you have a um, 5 second cooldown in the beginning and then as they level up uh, it's longer and longer and longer, so more realistic in that way as well. Alright, so we got hot events with the older button. Level up and get rewards. The first two 7th days. After the server opening, the players who reach level 32 receive a special pack, but I think I can collect it. Oh, okay. Uh, don't level. Up, don't don't have the uh, requirements. 40, 50, 16. I'm seven, so 16 is the earliest one. We got some um, chests on sale. We got login to receive bound balance. 30 classic chest. We've got. Uh, one of the rewards we're gonna take this because we need as many things bloody battle Accumulate honor to receive a lot of rewards. So different types of quests number one in battle rating Various rewards Monarch of war god of war these are quests uh, probably titles. I can't remember them by heart this is the old clothing system um, where I think it's the old clothing system. I don't have access to it right now. Let's try it on. We can see how it looks. And uh, there you would merge the clothings. We got stronger skill in rankings, players level rankings. Upgrade the gem. Alchemy, that's something that was also removed. Now we have uh, it back here and nostalgic short exchange and we got a mount here flaring monster card so you got the hot events running you got the beginners mine for those players who recharge we got a special pack uh, i think this is the first uh, recharge or um, available up to level 50 so special jewels all right so Let's get the town portal up and running and um, do the work teeth where we need to collect aid. Let's unlock a couple of things so we can see um, more new things or old things. Right, so apart from the version 2.46. Um, and the, the lag and the features which I, I'm, I'm told so a lot of the things are of course um, based on the 2.46 
but I'm told um, they will bring also uh, various classical uh, mini games uh, which which have been um, removed for example which existed before so they're gonna work on this version as well it's exclusive to proficient city so if you want to play you gotta go there and I'll put all the links in the description of the video as well um, but I think it, it's um, it's warchin.com slash reborn but uh, I'll put all the links to be sure uh, that I, I'm saying it correctly in the description. And we're gonna finish these guys as well. Now the rating here, if I remember correctly, had to do with how much damage I'm doing versus my troops. And if the troops are doing more damage, uh, so basically your your contribution had to has to be sizable to get a good uh, good rating. That's from my memory. We're gonna take. We got a rage boost this time as well. Let's go defeat Wolf Gore. This is, of course, the first campaign. Very, very easy. I'm also told that there will be differences in balance, uh, that it might be very uh, much easier to um, recharge or, or purchase things. I, I don't know which one. And I, I don't know if it is the uh, USD amounts or it's, you get more balance or well, one, one of the two. I'm not 100% sure about it. But uh, there's supposed to be uh, an advantage in that as well compared to the current running version. And I'm sure as we experience the game further, we, we will find out more um, advantages or uh, features of Warchun Reborn. And if I find out anything extra, I'll let you guys know as well. Now the good thing here is we got the uh, blue equipment, which is very good at this stage. And in this version, you gotta get the equipment yourself, so that's pretty important. Let's open this classic chest. We get gems, two level twos, which are very good. Luck stones, very, very useful in this version. Okay, we get construction. We're gonna upgrade the lancers. Anyhow, the game I think will demand it. And we're gonna recruit another hundred. Plunder a city. Now plundering also very very important, plunder other players to receive gold and resources, especially kyanite. You can attack 5 times a day, that's same as current, but um, and then but they, they go into a shield and this is where also the older item, if you remember, um, for some of the players who remember playing many years ago, um, there, there is a shield item, I'm sure it will pop up in, in the game as well at some point where you can protect your city from attacks. That used to be a very important point part of the game because people needed so much gold and they would plunder each other so you have to protect your resources of course. Now I have a horrible formation as a mage I should be in the, in the back, in the rear. I totally forgot about formation as I'm I used to playing the current version. So they might actually kill me. But the Lancers are at full health, so normally they should be the enemy hero even if I die. Now we're gonna go ahead with the um, Lightning Bolt. And even if I drop will win anyways. That was really close. I better fix my formation not to mess up again. Alright, we're gonna teleport back to the city, complete the quest and the old lumber collection. Good old lumber collection, very easy quest. You get teleported to an area where your character will collect, uh, I believe it's 10 lumber. Very, very easy quest to complete. And again, sorry for my, my lag and my first time downloading of things. And here we have also rewards for staying online. Sometimes it's the ore, by the way, it's not always the wood. Sometimes it's the ore. 
We got the skills as well opened up. I'm not gonna take this, not yet, because it's a percentage and my um, that va my values are very small, so it's kind of pointless to apply a percentage. Did somebody attack me? I think somebody attacked me. Because normally in this quest there's not supposed to be a, a fight. So I'm not exactly sure. Good time for Rain of Fire. Really good time. Yeah, I, I think he must have attacked me. Afuda. So as I mentioned, I better fix my formation. Alright, click to leave the mine. Yes, please, I don't want to fight right now. Soldiers upgrade, I already did. Oh, recruit hunters. Hunters are actually not a good uh, troop for uh, for a mage. So I'm gonna just take 100 for the quest, but I'm gonna stay with the lancers. Warehouse, super, super important. Because once your gold production, once your gold goes into red, then of course you are blocked and you cannot get more gold, and um, for, from the hourly production, which is very significant. So you definitely don't want to be in red. You want to spend your gold, but you want to upgrade your warehouse as well. I've got better equipment, really. Okay, good stuff. Level nine. I can almost open the starter pack. Let's get these bound balance opened up. 80 bound balance, great. And I didn't get any kyanite, I didn't get any golds, but that was for a quest, uh, a kind of a, I think a fake character that you attack for a quest. Alright, we're gonna upgrade some. Take the reward. And uh, I'll continue in the next video.